Hi YouTube, this is just a heads up. Just letting you know that the dead battery is now fully charged under an hour. In fact, it only took 30 minutes for this dead battery to fully charge. So, let you know it is good to go. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, hey, hey. YouTube, this is your boy Connell, the Tech Savvy Rider. Hey, just giving y'all a heads up. This is probably gonna be a quick video. I got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I do apologize to you for not being able to uh, send out these videos like I want. Um, I got man, my schedule is very hectic right now. Um, give y'all a heads up. Um, I will be at Wingding 43 this year, uh, Louisiana. I, I just got through working on Black Flash. Uh, I'll be taking Black Flash down to Wingding 43, um, but I will only be going as a spectator, uh, checking out the sites whatsoever. I'm not planning on entering a contest. Uh, as I told you all last year, uh, Black Flash is totally retired. Uh, from all uh, light show contests. Hey, three year champion. Hey, that, that, I, I wear that belt proudly. So, uh, this year I will be actually enjoying uh, Louisiana, checking out some uh, different scenes, checking you guys out as y'all enter the light show contest and whatever other contest you all got uh, planned on participating in. Uh, like I say, I only be spectating. Uh, with the camera going around showing everybody everything uh, you know of what's going on hopefully I get a chance to meet you guys hey don't be afraid to to come up and introduce yourself let me interview you put you on camera and uh, we just go out there and have a good time uh, for all my GSRC uh, fellow riders uh, and all other groups our Facebook groups hey we do plan on getting together and having a dinner a dinner ride uh, you're more than welcome to link up with me and get some more info once we're there. Um, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Greg and Laura for putting everything together. Uh, for Wing Ding 42 and Wing Ding 43, uh, I, I don't know what I'd do without you guys. I uh, to give y'all a heads up. Uh, I'm finished with Black Flash. Now I am working on Deathstroke, the slingshot. Uh, a lot of parts have finally came in that's what's been taking so long um, everything as far as the sling shade uh, the saddlebags the music setup the audio all this stuff came in for the audio I finally got my last set of parts in uh, they made it in I think yesterday um, and now all my electronics and stuff I'll be going through uh, showing you guys how I do this build for this uh, for Deathstroke the, uh, the slingshot um, the lights uh, have been ordered um, I'll be using the rolling eyes light set on Deathstroke just like I have done on Black Flash I'll be going through every little step on fixing up Deathstroke Hopefully you all, you know, will follow through and let me know what you all think of my installs, of my bills, my fabrications. Because there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to do in order to get Deathstroke the way I want it to go. Uh, you know, I, I'm following up with a actual scheme, color scheme, that I'm trying to get to match up and go with the Deathstroke uh, DC, uh, DC Assassin color scheme. Uh, so I'm hoping everything will turn out right. Uh, first thing I want to do is go over. Uh, I just went and got or ordered some dual batteries for the for Deathstroke, and I already I have already came across an issue um, dealing with 
to do a battery setup, and I wanted to show it with, uh, share it with you all, because like I said, I even though I'm going through the build, every little issue that I have, I also try to share them with you too. Like I said, this is gonna be a short video, so hey, y'all stay tuned with me, and um, y'all be prepared to be uh, <laughs> witness uh, what I do, uh, and like. All my videos, when I start out on a bill, I tell everybody, hey, this is not the way to do it. This is the way I'm doing it. Uh, so all the little negative comments that people have, you more than welcome to share them. But, you know, they go in one year and I, you know, when I sit down, they come out. You know, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I really don't care about somebody else's opinion when I know what I need uh, when I do my installs. Uh, so y'all follow with follow through with me and uh, I hope y'all enjoy my videos from here on out I know I won't be able to finish this build until after I get back from wingding 43 But now I'm getting ready to start uh, on the build and to give y'all a heads up exactly what has been going on as you can see this is my garage uh, I'm also remodeling my home uh, the kitchens, bathrooms, and every bedroom. Well, the whole freaking house. Everything from flooring, walls. So, my my schedule right now is pretty dramatic. It is pretty, I am pretty, my schedule is pretty hectic. So, let's get started, okay? First thing I want to do is talk about the lithium batteries. All right, Black Flash here is running three lithium batteries. You all know that, all right? I have... One lithium battery here, one lithium battery in my trunk, and one lithium battery uh, in my battery cargo box right there for my trailer. Uh, I have always been a fan of anti-gravity ever since I switched over to them. So I pulled out, uh, on, my, on my go wing, I have three anti-gravity ATX-20. I, that was the... That, that was the OEM size version of the lithium battery for the stock battery that was in it. So I took out the stock and switched over to the anti-gravity uh, size battery that fit the OEM size battery. Uh, I hope y'all following me. So in other words, I'm running three lithiums on my gold wing. I never had an issue since I switched over. All right, now I'm doing the same thing with Deathstroke. So I pulled Deathstroke out of the garage so y'all can, so I can actually work on it. It's, I don't know about you all's area, but it's been a hundred plus degrees I, uh, here in Oklahoma. Yesterday was 107, today is probably, probably is gonna be about 109. So this is gonna be a very quick video. <laughs> all right, I also use the battery tenders to charge my lithium batteries. The lithium battery tender uh, for my ATX gravity battery. All right, all right now we're going to go over to uh, on the other side of here where I got Deathstroke set up at. I'm getting ready to do a dual battery setup on Deathstroke, the slingshot, but I already have came across a problem. I'm switching out my stock battery, which is this one. It's the y, uh, YIX30L. This is the stock battery for the slingshot for the 22, uh, 2022 model. I'm getting ready to switch out to the equivalent size lithium battery made by the uh, anti-gravity, which is the ATX30. Uh, the reason I'm switching out is because one, the 20X, the 2022 slingshot comes with the motorcycle size battery but it's not gonna be enough to push all the accessories that I'm getting ready to switch out to uh, getting ready to add on I mean I am very familiar with the anti-gravity battery as I just showed you I have three on black flash the gold wing the ATX 20 the equivalent for the slingshot battery is the ATX 30 okay the issue that I have is both of these batteries have been charging since yesterday as you can see my first battery it is fully charged but my second battery 
is still blinking the orange light like there is no connectivity or no charge going to the battery. This is very common with lithium batteries that have completed all its bolts. In order for a lithium charger to charge a lithium battery, that battery has to have a volt charge of around uh, 11 volts or so. In other words, the lithium charger would not trick off a charge to go to the battery if the battery is below 11 volts. So there's a safety feature in this uh, charger and there's a safety feature in the battery. So now one battery has charged completely and another battery has not done anything. Like if there's no connection to it to charge it whatsoever. Now, most people who don't deal with batteries will automatically think that they got a defective battery. But dealing with lithium batteries, that is not the case. All you have to do to jumpstart this lithium battery so this lithium charger can start charging it is simply add a charger to the battery to make the tender charger think that it has reached its, its charge capability. So what I'm gonna do now is take my jump starter, my battery jump starter, I'm gonna disconnect my battery tender connect my jump starter battery jump starter let it sit for about a minute then come back reconnect my battery tender and that orange light that's blinking saying there is no battery connection it should turn solid orange letting me know that the battery has been detected and now it is charging but as long as it is blinking it doesn't see the battery on the other end that needs to be charged so let me hook this up right quick and i try to set my camera up so y'all can see what i'm doing so you give me a second and y'all hold on Right, my jump starter is connected to the battery. Now I tell my jump starter to start to jump off this battery. Let this jump starter sit for about one minute. That's all you need. Now, as you can see, the battery tender now sees the battery on the other end, so now it can start charging. The orange light indicates that it, it detects the battery. So now it is starting to charge my battery. What I need to do now is disconnect my jumper, and we good to go. I did that wrong for y'all to know. You always need, when you take off a battery, you need to do the negative and the positive, but I wasn't looking at what I was doing. Take off the negative, then the positive, and then when you're putting it back on, you put the positive, then the negative. So that's my bag on showing y'all the wrong stuff. Other than that, that is how you get a lithium battery to wake up so it can start fully charging with the battery tender charger. 
Keep in mind, never charge a lithium battery with a regular charger. Always use a lithium charger to charge a lithium battery. This is a jump starter, meaning that, yeah, if my car is dead, I can use this to go jump start my car. But I just needed it to jump start this battery to wake it up so that the battery tender can detect it. And now the battery tender has detected and it has started charging. So, as I do these videos, I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, but like I said, most people who have who doesn't deal with batteries normally, they would automatically thought they had bought a dead battery or a defect, defective battery and they would start trying to make preparations to turn it in. But that's not the case with the lithium battery. So I hope I explain that to you well enough, show you a demo. And the rest of the stuff I'll be doing for the slingshot, it's gonna look awesome. I got everything that came in, uh, including the audio system. My house is full with nothing but slingshot parts. So I had to bring the slingshot on this side of the house. It's 107 degrees right now. Uh, supposed to be up to 109. Uh, so I got me a little sling, uh, got me a little shade going on the side of the house to get these get these videos going. Uh, my next video, I will probably start doing my DRLs for the front. After I do that, after I add my second battery, I mean do my dual battery setup, I'll be do, going over that too. Um, my DRLs for my fronts. I'm gonna get ready to start installing my music. I want to say I caught a lot of music shops checking around see who's available who can do it in a time frame that i needed to be done man i could not believe that i could not find a audio shop and i went as far as going as far as i think jersey contacting people trying to see if they can take in my slingshot uh and either no response or they act like they were too busy hey so that was a lesson learned for me i said i'm gonna take this and all these parts and money that I spent on this on the slingshot for these get these audio systems set in. Nobody want to take my money, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pay myself. I'm gonna pull my money out my left pocket, switch it over to my right pocket, and do this stuff myself. So y'all stay tuned. I hope I do a good job just so I can have some bragging rights. But other than that, hey, uh, everything else is coming. Uh, only thing I gotta let. Uh, only thing I'm waiting on now that's not here will be the saddlebags. Uh, they are still being prepped uh, for the, uh, they are already together, this, this waiting to get painted. The color code for this thing is, is like I said, it's gonna be the most difficult part for me because this is a unique color code trying to get it painted. Other than that, y'all stay tuned. Our right, boys back getting these videos done uh, and I hope I see you all at Wing Ding 43. Hi right, YouTube, this is just a heads up. Just letting you know that the dead battery is now fully charged under an hour. In fact, it only took 30 minutes for this dead battery to fully charge. So, let you know it is good to go. GoPro, stop recording. Hey, hey, hey.